Literally right after I made a couple of videos exposing failed prophecies, this pastor sent me a prophecy he allegedly received from God about me. I don't usually like doing response videos to smaller channels because it feels like I'm punching down. So if you do go and respond to this guy, please be respectful. But this was just too good to pass up. Holy Kool-Aid Thomas Westbrook hear the word of the Lord? Oh, this is going to be delicious. And you know it's legit because he's a water-walking, fire-breathing, giant-slaying child of the living God? But before you laugh, let's hear what this demigod has to say. God gave me a word for Thomas Westbrook. God says, Thomas, I'm about to turn your worldly thinking upside down and inside out. Fuck it, you dare challenge me! The light of the day's truth will pierce your eyes and the sound of victory will reach your ears every night. The birth of the revelation will be 18 days premature. And you will see and hear who has called your name night and day. So what are we looking at around about? The 10th of December. But just how exactly did he get that date? He is 30 years and 8 months old. We know that the 30 stands for the ministry, called to the ministry. And we know that 8 means a new beginning. If 8 is a new beginning, 9 is fruit bearing, 9 months will be the birth of a baby. So there's a month to go. But the prophecy says 18 days premature. When I finished this prophecy, writing down this prophecy for Thomas Westbrook, I picked up my phone and I took a screenshot. And this is my screenshot. This is what it looked like. We have 1818. And if you look at the top here, my battery life is 69. Yeah, we have 22, the keys of heaven. There is the 28th today, which is time and seasons. Bondage, the first 18. Life, the second 18. So our friend Thomas Westbrook is in, yeah, bondage. <laughs> But yet God had given him a word through a prophet that he will be mighty in the kingdom. And that word still stands. This is horrible. You see, the percentage of battery life I have, I have is 69. And what does 69 mean? 69 means mighty salvation. <laughs> you serious? Thomas Westbrook will be on the 28th of December, 30 years old and nine months. But the prophecy says the birth will be 18 days premature. So what are we looking at around about? The 10th of December. And 10 means the perfect order of God. But see, here's what you don't understand. You got the numbers all wrong. 69 represents happy upside down fun time. 18 is the age you can join the US military but not drink. Six is the number you get when you add up both the three musketeers and the three little pigs. The swine is basically the atheist. God calls the atheists, the atheists, he calls them pigs. Come on, dude, seriously? 28 represents independence in numerology. Nine is how many lives cats have, and 22 is a blackjack bust. So if you add happy upside down hanky panky to the two sober soldiers, toss in the musketeer pigs, sprinkle in some freedom and cat lives, and mix it all together with a failed blackjack hand, you get 170. But you see, earlier that day, I bought a package of eight hot dog buns, and we all know that eight represents octopus tentacles. Add that to the mix and you get 178. But wait, take a closer look at that screenshot. No, it can't be. Bunker's Hill? There's no way that that's a coincidence, especially since 28 represents independence. The Battle of Bunker Hill took place in 1775. Subtract 75 from 178 and you get 103, which just so happens to be the numerical value for the word bullshit. And coincidentally, 2021 does just so happen to be the year of the ox. See, that's the problem with numerology and Bible code. You can literally get whatever you want. But it's been a couple weeks since the prophecy was supposed to come to pass. Was Prophet Tavis right? The revelation that you are going to see now, Thomas, is going to be an eye opener and an ear opener to you.
So what are we looking at around about? The 10th of December. Wrong. If you have seen what I have seen and been where I have been and know what I have known, there is an impossibility for you to become an atheist. The funny thing about this prophecy is that he's doubling down on a spectacularly failed prophecy I received back in 2007, which I covered here on my channel. I'll put a link to that below. 2020 has been a hell of a year, and a lot of things are going to change in 2021. But one thing that won't change regardless of your wishfully deluded prophetic heart on is that I'm not going back to Christianity. I've studied the Bible way, way too much to ever be a Christian again. It fails spectacularly, historically, scientifically. It fails morally, logically, and on the grounds of internal consistency. Unless I'm heavily drugged, suffering from brain damage or not of sound mind for some reason or another, I am 110% confident that I will never become a Christian ever again. And that's with about a 10% margin of error. It's not just wrong. It oftentimes fuels tribalism, fosters extremism, encourages the shoddiest forms of epistemology, straight up denies science and misinforms people, and can be incredibly harmful. Watch my video, Why Are Atheists So Angry?, if you want a summary of just how incredibly harmful religion can be and how detrimental it is to human flourishing and progress. You can make as many prophecies about me as you want in your little faith-based circle jerk, but this intellectual manure is just giving me more fuel. And nobody's buying it, at least none of my audience, because I've been going strong at this for over four years. And in 2021, we're going to continue curiously exploring how the world works, because we don't need religious dogma to tell us what we have to believe. Thank you, everyone, for such an incredible last four years. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for donating on PayPal, for contributing to my gear here in my studio, and everything else. You guys are what has kept this show alive. And as always, dare to be curious, but don't drink the Kool-Aid. Happy New Year, everyone.